Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is what is the major product of this reaction. The reaction is front of you. So for options are provided, I request you student, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation and don't worry, after some time you will get the right answer. But remember self evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. Now I believe you have tried by yourself, it's my turn to give you the right answer. Now if you look at the problem little carefully, this is actually CDI or this diimidazole. Okay. Now its reaction first with excess butyl lithium at 20 degree centigrade and second reaction is ethanol at 20 degree centigrade. What is the product? So, before going to details, I believe you need to understand the reactivity pattern of this molecule. This molecule is actually you can consider amide, it is a diamide of amide of you can say carbonate, carbonic acid. Now, so this one side imidazole, another side is also an imidazole moiety and in this case this is actually this carbonyl carbon is the electrophilic center and we know that alcohol can act as nucleophile. So this is re this reaction is nothing but a combination of nucleophile and electrophile, but it is not so much easy. So let us go to the mechanism. Now, so if you look at the mechanism, first reaction is in presence of tertiary butyl alcohol. If you look at this tertiary butyl group student, this is significantly bulky. Okay, so this is significantly bulky. So if it is bulky, this reaction is nothing but nucleophilic addition on carbonyl group. So it's like this is attacks here and it's open. So this is nucleophilic addition on carbonyl group and this is governed by a phenomenon named as burgi dunich trajectory. I've already discussed a dedicated lecture. Please visit for better understanding if you have any problem. Okay. So based on this principle, this attack has happened. Now, first of all, remember student, this is actually a ketone, point number one and second point, this is bulky alcohol, slightly bulky alcohol. So consequently, this attack is not that much favored. So that's why what will happen? Obviously, the first reaction will happen and it will produce this tertiary butyl ester. You may consider ester uh, amide, this part is ester and the other part is amide. Now, See, when tertiary butyl group is there, it is actually introduce some additional bulkness around this carbonyl carbon, okay. So this carbonyl carbon became bulky, sterically protected you may consider. So second tertiary butanol molecule which was although taken in excess, so this it was taken in excess, still it can't attack this carbonyl group. Consequently reaction for the first step it is and in the second step what you can expect that this is another alcohol and these alcohol attacks. Why it is able to attack? Because it is ethanol student. It is lesser bulky. That is why because of this Burgi-Dunich trajectory it is allowed to attack here and it produces one side this is ethyl another side is tertiary butyl ester. Now in this context to another one point you must need to understand what is that role of imidazole. See after the first nucleophilic attack in this case this imidazole anion is produced. So this is a negative charge is here and this imidazole anion is resonance stabilized how it can come here so it can come there. So it produces equivalent canonical structure and later on this takes one proton and proton from where from this alcohol because after this nucleophilic attack this oxygen will have a formal positive charge so the acidity of these OH these hydrogen is significantly increases so consequently it could be obstructed by this imidazolium anion and first of all one imidazole is produced similar thing happens in the second case now in this context one point you should remember so if you want to make this process catalytic or faster, you can do one thing, you can add base because base what we will do, the base will ab help to abstract this proton from this alcohol which will help to make this ester faster way, okay. So this is the overall explanation about the problem. 
Now, if you look at the actual reaction from the paper I have provided the reference, there it is clearly mentioned. So, this is that <coughs> diimidazole carbonate amide derivative and if first it reacts with this tertiary butanol at 20 degree centigrade and produces this monosubstitution and that later on at 20 degree centigrade if you react with ethanol it produces this mixed ester. But if you want to get this dye substitution of tertiary butyl alcohol you need to provide more time and more temperature student 65 degree centigrade whereas initial was 20 degree centigrade. So at 20 degree centigrade these dye product formation is not possible so only this will be produced ok. So what is the answer of this discussion? So it is actually a mixed carbonate ester so option C is the right answer. Now if this question appears in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you solve? First of all you need to understand that tertiary butanol is actually a bulky nucleophile, bulky alcohol and electrophilic attack on this center is not possible, is not that much favored. So that's why monosubstitution will occur but not disubstitution. Second thing that remember student that this carbonyl group is not that much electron deficient. So why I am saying it is a carbonate ester 2 side 2 nitrogen although it is true that these nitrogens are actually imidazole nitrogen so lone pair is delocalized that is fine but it is not that much active point number one second it is itself be significant bulky because of two imidazole group. So significant means it is moderately reactive and second thing is that temperature is 20 degree centigrade so and milder condition so in this way it will be produced but if you look at this problem little carefully that option A is not possible because imidazole can't produce this urea because I have to have provided alcohol not amine not possible. Second, so as I told that one butanol can react so option this option gone and two butanol can all cannot also react because of this temperature so option D also gone so this. So this is a little tricky question but I believe based on this understanding you can solve. Now let us come to the conclusion what you have learned today that carbonyl diimidazole or CDI can behave as moderate good electrophile ok moderately good because first of all bulk and second is donation. Second imidazole anion is stabilized due to the resonance stabilization of the excess shot as I told equivalent canonical form. This carbonyl diimidazole is a better reagent for C1 reaction because it is actually a carbon 1 source means that carbonyl group is actually responsible not the imidazole part. So, do not get confused that sir you are saying it is a C1 source although this molecule has more than one number of carbon actually they are not participating and this is actually milder reagent than toxic phosgene because in many case if you look at you can compare that this is actually phosgene or carbonyl chloride. It is true that this carbonyl group is more reactive because electronegative chlorine atom is attached but it has some toxicity and environmental hazard. So that is why this CDI or carbodimidazole it is a better option. Now tertiary butyl group can provide significant bulkiness around the carbonyl group. So nu incoming nucleophile phases steric repulsion and this principle is called Bourgeois steric repulsion already discussed. Now and the finally what you have learned that imidazole is mild base and good good living group but these reaction could be isolated in presence of some additional external base. So this is the overall discussion I believe this video may be useful. So I thank you for watching this video if possible please help this channel to grow if you consider this content is worthy and you may visit my another channel where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So